We are about to do a uh, going into night bad weather uh, mission. So we're going to go ahead and get started up. We've already got our loadout on and um, the data cable is already connected. So we're going to go ahead and get our systems up and running. We'll have to switch everything to night mode here in just a bit. Uh, we'll need it on a little brighter than that to begin with so we can see everything. So carrier ops, we uh, try to go ahead and not start up our engines right away. And sit here on the deck and just ready to go until everybody's ready. We're going to go ahead and go to C. And we can see there our qual is good. INS. All right. I'll turn that all the way up. Go to night mode on that. Kind of hard to see still. systems up and running we're gonna go ahead and change waypoint one to our target waypoint so change Zero, position There we go. TACAN won't start until we're good to go there. So we're just waiting on this boat to stop turning. And we'll go ahead and do our startup. Starting to get fairly dark. some good formation lights on all right so we're kind of set here now we're just waiting on the boat to stop turning let's take a look on the exterior here and see what we've got and it's set there's some heavy wind so we're gonna go ahead and start our engines now are set just waiting on everything to get up and running here so we've got a really short deck so we're going to be starting at 750 feet so let's go ahead and get that set up so field data there we go We need to be at 108, so we're going to be really tight here. So 
So nozzles are 50, which is a pretty significant 108. Go ahead and remove the wheel chocks. Copy. Wheel chocks are now removed. Caution, caution. Caution, caution. Tarawa, zero five zero. Taxi for seven fifty takeoff. All right, guys, here we go. Go ahead and get our lineup done. We're gonna watch our uh, throttles go slow. Lights are out. Now, due to our heavy nature, we're going to do something a little odd here. Nozzles are at 30. We're going to hold our brakes. Let's go to our engine page. And we're going to go ahead and do our accelerate test. 60. And our times are good. Map is off. All right, let's go ahead and set that back to 50. We're going to set our water to take off. We're going to turn on combat power. There we go. All right, we're starting to get dark here. Nose wheel steering is off. Nozzles back to 10. Pushing all the way through. And perfect. Gear coming up. Coming back on the throttle. Pushing ourselves to 25. And we're above 160, so flaps coming up. Nozzle's going all the way down. Going to nav mode. Now we need to fly out under 500 feet for 7 miles for the pattern. Water coming off, altitude off, there we go guys, so that's a pretty good case three takeoff there, stabilize ourselves out. So we're doing a very low maneuver here in bad weather. So it can absolutely have some effect on us. Um, Toro 5-0, gears up, flaps up. Let me go ahead and kill my combat power, which reduces our power just a little bit. But it's better for the engines. You can see we're, we're getting a lot of rain. Really bad weather, although there's some brakes. We take a look down here. We can see they set up. All right.
Taroy. 5-0, passing 7 DME, assuming on control. Frequency change, 269. All right, waypoint is up. Here we go. So we're going to try to climb up out of these clouds here. And so the next stage of this mission here, we're going to get some, uh, go ahead and take on a little bit of fuel. So I'm going to check what my frequencies are. And our KC-130, 42 Yankee 252. And there we go. We've got it. We'll continue this five degree climb. And you can see we're kind of out of the out of the soup now, so that's a really good thing. So we'll just continue left. I'm going to mess with the setting here while we're doing this. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Breaking up over these clouds here. Bulldog 1-1, one, one, frequency change 2-5-2. Two, two. <sighs> Bulldog 1-1, one, one, one times AV-8B Harrier, inbound to Shell... Two, one. Turn on the AFC here. And let's just take a look at where Shell is. KC 130 at 17,000. So we're just going to keep that climb going.
You have to look at some settings about that uh, haze pretty far away there. Which seems to only be happening in clouds, so it's probably my cloud settings. All right, we're going to come right back on to intercept. go we are well above where we need to be at this point looks like the tankers might be down in the soup we'll have to see Definitely getting some turbulence up here. And we're going to have to come left here, get on an intercept. We're now 15 miles away. Tells me we're getting close. Well, there's a tanker right below us that we're transitioning over. I'd like to see which direction they're flying here. All right. As we get closer, within a few miles, I'll drop down. And you can see I am burning a little bit of fuel, but that's because we're going to go tank, so um, I'm not horribly worried about my fuel. The re only reason we're tanking, we don't really need a tank for this mission, but... Uh, anytime I get up on the on just a training mission, I really try to tank and contact. All right, now we're going to start slowing down, coming down on altitude. Let's go ahead and call in. Shell two one Pontiac five one request rejoin. Pontiac five one Shell two one proceed to precontact at seventeen thousand.
Probably came in a little hot on this, but I think we'll be fine. And there we are. So that that kick up just drops your uh, speed down if you need it to. And then you can get back into a good position. Um, obviously you want to try not to have to do that. But sometimes, sometimes it happens. So let's go ahead and get into left hand observation. Get trim set. Go into flaps auto. Probe is extended. Going into a left hand. Look pretty steady. Let's go ahead and push up to it. Nothing like a left hand turn to get you going in the morning. Probe is out and good. Now I am not going to claim to be an expert uh, refueler. It is not something, it's a skill that's very necessary that you don't always get right the first time. And it's just something you got to keep practicing. Even after you think you've got it, you don't. You need to work on it. And you see we're getting a little bit of oscillation. Trying to come in slow enough. There we go, getting a little better, a little better, a little closer, right there. Break away, break away, break away. Contact, you're taking fuel. Getting a little too far off. Transfer complete. All right. Well, that was odd, guys. I don't know what uh, just happened there. We are done there. We're gonna go go ahead head start heading to our waypoint. We're going to move back to 269. And there we go. We're on our AWACS. All right. So 16,000, I'm okay with our uh, altitude for just a few minutes here. Let's go ahead and put our AFC on and let's start working our attack stuff. So first thing I want to do is that HUD's going to get turned down a little bit because we're starting to get darker. 
Now we're going to come over here and I'm going to go and push us out to one hundred mile. Well, we'll we'll just leave uh, where we're at for 25 miles. And I know that my course heading on this needs to be zero four zero. So let's go ahead and set up zero four zero enter. Now if we were to scale out to a hundred, we could see that we're actually getting pretty close to our course line already. So we're going to come right onto that course line. It's going to make our lives much easier and we're going to have to do some refinement as we come in. So what we're doing is we're doing a runway bombing with some snake eyes. Um, because we were on the boat and our drag index, we did not, and our, our drag index right now is 18. Um, we didn't want to take any more bombs than, you know, eight, that's quite a lot of bombs anyway, so. If we were taking off from an airfield, you could probably be a lot heavier, but. Keeping our fuel flow, I like to keep it above 80, below 85 if possible. Because uh, you never know once we get back to the boat how long Marshall's going to take. Especially under case 3 conditions. So we're up above the storm now. you got some great clouds, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we're a little early in the day for this, but once we drop below the clouds, we're not going to be. So I'd like a little bit of screen out there um, because we're going to go ahead and start working fence-in procedures here in just a second. Lights off. Spindles to auto. Okay. Now this could have uh, SAMs. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some shoulder fired SAMs down there, so we're gonna have to be uh, quick, fast, and in a hurry on this bombing run. Then 26 miles. Bulldog 1-1 one, one, IP inbound going to the deck. All right, here's where it gets interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Twenty four miles, so we can probably go to No, can't hear our scale yet. This is we're watching our uh, altitude is probably one of the most important things we can do. And we do appear to have some mountains down here.
There we go. Now we're getting a clear view. Air to ground is going on. Now we should be able to hit our 25 mile marker. See we're slightly offset. Let's set this to high drag. You see we're get really getting dark down here. little overcast so we've got to be really careful as we fly this in but we don't want to be detected that's kind of our biggest issue I'm gonna have to come left here in just a minute Working that trim now. All right, we want to be up over 500 knots if possible. Get ready to intercept course line. We are now six miles, so let's push into the next scale. That's really going to help us. You have some good head down work when you're doing this. All right, four miles, throttles up. We'll pop up just in time to drop. So now we're flying real low. Two miles, popping up to 500 feet. Heavy wind, which you're going to have to account for. Looking, I have the target. We're online. One, one, pickle. Off. Looks like some good hits there. is getting heavy alright let's go ahead and clear that off go back to nav and we are now inbound for the boat so some good airstrikes Without the uh, nav flare, we would never have been able to do that. And uh, gain altitude rather quickly here. We're outside of the threat range. climb up above these clouds here we'll drop our throttle down and start working our case 3 operations which that's always going to take a little bit more to do So we're just going to clear 10,000 feet and we'll be able to fence out. Let's 
let's go ahead and check that uh, EW page, see what it's got going on. All right, looking good. And we just cleared 10,000. We're not quite above the clouds, but I'm okay with that. Bulldog one one fence out. All right, master arm is off. Expendables off. Lights on. Let's go ahead and get a good exterior view. And I need to figure out exactly where we are here. Uh, Tarawa. Father, 5-0. Inbound, one AV-8B Harrier from your 002 low state 6.1. So we're going to drop our throttle down just a little bit, start lowering that speed, um, fuel flow down to about 88, I'm good there. Just to slow us down a little bit, we're going to have a little bit of a Marshall stack to do. And lights did not seem to come on, there we go. And we'll just be inbound to the carrier. Alright guys, so just hang tight and enjoy the flight for a minute.
Alright guys, here we are. We're getting ready to um, start entering the pattern. So what I need to do here, so I'm going to push my scale back out to 25. We're going to figure out what the DME is, which is 1, 2, 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a course line for 1, 5, 0. Marshall 5-0 entering pattern at block 10, current state 5.7. So what we're going to do here is if we look down, we will enter this pattern. We'll go to the upper side of the boat and uh, go ahead and burn our fuel. And five zero proceeding to block three. So let's go ahead and pull up a knee board here that we're going to want to use. You see, I got a lot of knee boards in here, uh, but this is our specific one, the case three recovery pattern. Um, makes it really easy to know what you're doing when you're using a something like this. little off course so let's come left again still in the clouds hear that rain hitting us So we're about to, we're going to pass the boat at 3,000 feet. Kick that down for a minute. Don't need it. It's a little bright. I need to make a night board. So what we're doing is a BRC plus 30 pattern. So you can see that's what this is out here. We're going to maintain a BRC plus 30 and then we'll come out and come back around on our landing. And we'll describe that as we go. So we're getting ready to pass 3,000. Oh, look at that. We can already see the boat. That's a good sign. All right, start leveling off a little, come right onto course. So about 66 is where I like to hold. Marshall 5-0 establish block 3. So what we're going to do is fly out to 10 miles and make a uh, arcing left hand turn. Uh, back onto BRC there. And let's go ahead and start look, looking up our VRAS for vertical landing where we need to be. So 3,000, I need to be between below 2,000 pounds of fuel. So we're going to, now that we're established, we can go ahead and start our dump. And we'll dump all the way down. Speed is 234, so we're getting a little slow. We'll go ahead and speed that up. 
and I'm going to make a slight right adjustment here so that when I make my uh, left hand arc we can get back on course line and we'll kind of get that established on this run probably doing about two rotations up here this time Let's go ahead and make that left hand arc. And what we'll do is we'll come back, get on really good course line this next time, and we'll be good to go. Probably go ahead and push to 13. And that's going to make life a lot easier right there to be really on course as close as we can be. That's going to be exceptionally important on this landing. So you see we're a little off course, not a big deal. I can come back and adjust uh, to the left, get onto that correct arc. At 3,600, it got 390 fuel, so we've got to dump all the way down. All right, let's go ahead and level off. So we're on that 2 to 10 uh, radial right there. I'm plus 30. night boat landings in the Harrier um, can almost be a little more difficult than uh, the 18 in my opinion just because of the fact that you don't even have the sensors that you need that they have on the boat coming right to get back onto that course line perfect there we go 3.7 and we are at 27 I actually think that we could probably will screw down to block two. Marshall five zero descending block two. You see, at this point, we're just following instruments. You're not doing a whole lot of... There's no visual out here. We're in the soup. There we go. Making this uh, arcing left-hand turn. Watching our trim. wings level so we're down to 2600 pounds so we're just at that minimum there for a wet landing Let's go ahead and pull our kneeboard up and talk about this as we continue out here at uh, eight miles we'll make our left hand turn so what we're going to do is we're going to come in we'll commence at two miles at uh, two dme we're going to call port side then we're going to go out 250 knots six dme level turn to brc 
So uh, right here we're going to say call the 90. And turning fuel dump off. Then at 5 DME, nozzles to 50. Nozzles are at 30 here. We're going to call final approach. Nozzles to 60. And we're going to call the ball there. And then we'll come straight in, port side, and come on over. So it's not a difficult. There we go. We're going to make that left hand arc. Be just a little past the 10 miles, but that's okay. So at 6 DME, I'm going to go ahead and change this back to that carrier heading of 120. So we call our commencing right at uh, two miles. All right, now we can see the boat in our nav flare. Nav flare might be uh, exceptionally helpful here. Five zero commencing. So two DME. You know, we're at two forty two. Two fifty is our our goal here, but we're doing good. Fuel state's 2.4 now, so we're 2.3. So now we're doing a lot better on fuel. So next call out is at 2 DME. Just passing the boat. It's in at 249 knots, so that's doing really good. We're just going to maintain that heading out there. 5 0, port side. So now we're looking for 6 DME. We're going to start that level turn. And once we start that level turn, we're going to change back to 1 2 0. You hear we got a lot of weather out here. Let's take a look and so we do not have nods on for today's mission. Just kind of working instruments only. Level turn. All 
right. So here's where we're going to start our 1,200 foot descent. Gear down, flaps down, nozzles to 30. Well, way too low. And water going on. Over a little harder because we're just slightly off course. We got plenty of time for a lineup. There we go. Now we're getting a lineup. Now we're waiting for five DME. You see how dark it is. Lights are off. Now well, that might cause us a major problem here as the deck, uh, we don't have the fuel for that. And that deck is absolutely going to turn. So now we have a major problem declaring an emergency on it. Um, we're going to have to con continue because I don't have the fuel to not. This is a DCS ism. Five zero, final approach, gear down, flaps down, water on. I've never uh, attempted a carrier landing at night on a turning boat. I don't think anybody should. Take a look at how far out we are from Galindak. We are 45 nautical miles, so we're not going to make anything here. Final 
All right, since the boat's doing weird stuff, we're going to do weird stuff. We at least got it stopped, so now we're just doing a new alignment. Dropping down. Good visual on the deck. Going to 82 at 6.6. .6. There we go. Little low. Now we're doing a lot here, guys. We're doing a whole lot here. In heavy wind. On a pitching deck. Got a little slower because of the wind. So just good to remember, things tend to happen when you're flying. Um, you just got to be able to adjust to it. Put a little rudder in and watching our descent. Starting to come low. This was a really long groove time for me, but... Coming over the deck. Probably a little farther back than I need to be, but... have to apply some good rudder on this still would have been a safe landing not, a, not the best all right those wheel steering's on there we go water is now off and let's clear the deck all right, guys, so this was a really odd uh, landing. Obviously not something you want to do anyway. Um, the pattern was correct. You got the pattern. You saw how that worked until we got on a final lineup. So no big deal there. All right, guys, uh, we will see.